I'm excited to take you guys out today. We're gonna to go look at my first property. We're gonna talk about that journey and go through a lot of the sacrifice that goes into buying your first home and setting yourself up to begin building wealth through real estate. But so many people underestimate the sacrifices that have to be made, the sacrifices that the really wealthy individuals have made through real estate to get to that place are often overlooked. So I wanna take you guys down memory lane, show you a little bit about uh, where I started. So, so when, I bought, when I bought my first house, I was 18, using my scholarship money, convinced my parents somehow to, to let me use my scholarship money. All I could afford was a really run down house a mile from the U of A in a rough neighborhood. We bought it and there's some homeless people living in the property and and we got a lot of work to do on this, this house. We had to do a new roof, we had to do new tile floors, we ripped out the kitchen, got in the bathrooms, and didn't really know what we were doing for the most part. I mean, we we're kind of just making it up as we went along. But we learned so much from that, we've sacrificed so much. Like living, we lived in an RV in the backyard that my parents had. They brought it up and parked it for my younger brothers and I, and that's where we lived. And we'd go work 12, 14 hours, and we'd go stay in the RV every day all summer long some people they have a leg up life's not fair some people have advantages some people have disadvantages and you gotta you gotta work with what you got but if you don't have a leg up then you gotta grind and grit and go through whatever it takes to get yourself in a position to be able to to do what you want to do so i want to show people anybody who's interested and passionate about real estate you know, well, i don't have money i don't have the money to get started call bullshit that, that's sacrifice, that's the sacrifice that you have to be willing to make. I, I tell everybody I'm so fortunate because at 14 years old I decided to be a real estate investor. Why, I don't know, because I didn't have that in my family. The mentors I was around, the people that were state investors. But I just, like, I saw it so clearly that that, that short-term sacrifice was just like, well, you have to do this thing. There's no other way. It was kind of tough, I remember having days of frustration because it's the summer going into freshman year of college and all my buddies are going on trips and partying and doing things and having fun and I'm working on this house and I have no idea. Looking back on it now, I'm so thankful I right? position me to start the company and start acquiring real estate assets. It's so easy to do possible things if you want. Ten years ago, Elon Musk byproduct of that is SpaceX and Tesla and everything that he's building. I see very clearly the next step and the next step and the next step and then eventually it's to this massive vision and the goal that I have for myself in my life. Yeah, so I mean, this is it and this is not what it looked like when I finished doing the work on it. Um, a professional company came in and we did a second remodel. But I mean, that's what it looked like when we bought it because this is the neighbor's house. They were basically identical. It's just, that's what we pulled up to, if you can imagine that. Day one, let's go to work. Welcome home. We're gonna be here for the next four months. Remodeling. 